Hello and welcome to Planet Zoom. With the addition of the Grasslands Pack DLC, for the first time in the history of Planet Zoo, something magical has happened for me. The stars have aligned and Lady Luck has shined upon me. I've been able to incorporate something directly from the new pack into an existing game. This has never happened before. Never happened before. It's an incredible stroke of luck that something I've developed about a year ago fits perfectly with the new butterfly exhibit. So today we're back in the city zoo to check out a brand new addition to the classic European section. If this is your first time checking out my city build, this is an ongoing challenging project that I've been working on for over a year now, a European city zoo. We're about halfway done with this zoo, so still a long way off from completion yet. The city backdrop was completed well, some time ago and I fully finished the entrance and the Europe section inside the zoo itself. Last time I worked on this zoo, I'd made a start on the Asia section. So it is slowly coming together, but that's not what we're here for today. Today, with a few tweaks, I've been able to repurpose a building in the European section and it fits so well. It's like I subconsciously planned for this. Right in the top of the Europe section is where I've added the tropical glass house. Well, it's not a tropical glass house anymore. Now it's transformed into a walkway butterfly exhibit and it does fit here so well with the flower gardens and the topiary and the traditional Victorian style glass house. The butterfly house here is right at home. I really didn't have to change much for this to become the butterfly house. I added a sealed doorway at either end and then if we go inside, you've got the entranceway and the PVC partition here and then we're into the midst of the butterfly goodness. So Planet Zoo have really spoiled us here. There's five new species of butterflies to play with. Let me see if I can remember the names correctly here. So the Cloudless Sulphur, that's the yellow one. And uh, European Peacock, that is the small multicolored butterfly. Obviously Blue Morpho, that's the big huge blue one. And the Monarch Butterfly, which I think that's the one species that most people are familiar with. And last but not least, we have Old World Swallowtail, which is this wonderfully patterned big yellow one. Don't they all look so good in here? When we had the bats added in the last DLC, I did have an inkling that butterflies wouldn't be far behind, considering how prominent butterfly houses are in zoos today. But it really is just a happy coincidence that I was able to adapt my tropical house into a butterfly house so easily. I didn't have to change any of the structural stuff at all. It just kind of all fits into place. On the ground, I've added this tiled walkway and the checkered pattern is, well, this is kind of a theme that I've got going on, so it does fit in well here. I also added a mesh panel at the top for some immersion, so the butterflies don't get stuck in the roof. And of course, we have this wonderful new butterfly animatronic signage, which absolutely had to go in here. It's so beautiful, very colorful. It's all just really so awesome. Just a nice, bright, colourful, relaxing space and definitely a great addition for my city zoo. Now when guests get to the end of the Europe section, they actually have a reason for continuing along the path here and going through the butterfly house, whereas this was all just improvised space before when it was purely a tropical house. So yeah, a rather unplanned visit back into my city zoo here. I have of course blueprinted this new addition so the whole Tropical Butterfly House exhibit will be available on the Steam Workshop shortly. I'll drop a link in the comments when that's ready to go. I hope you're as thrilled as I am with this new addition to Planet Zoo. And if you're planning on purchasing the new Grasslands DLC, be sure to check out my Ready Made Grasslands Habitats video as well. With that one, I give a general overview of all the new habitat animals and the seven brand new enclosures I've created for the Starter Habitat series. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.